So, so for today's video, you are going to be watching a University of Birmingham campus tour. So this video is really highly requested by you guys. So today we thought, let's do some mileage. <laughs> let's walk around the campus. And we're gonna basically show you all the like key buildings, their names, just basically so you guys can have an understanding of what the campus looks like. And I just think it'll be interesting for you guys to watch. So because we're first years, we've only had an online uni experience. So a lot of these places that we're gonna take you to, we haven't even been inside Sorry, ourselves. Yeah. So this is going to be the first time that we're going to see a lot of these things as well. Um, so we hope you guys enjoy and you find this useful and you just get to see what the campus is like. So if this video is helpful to you or you enjoy it, please make sure to like this video and share it around. Thank you so much guys for 2,600 subscribers. Wait. <laughs> we hit 2,000 subscribers in February yeah. and the fact that there's like there's another there 600 of you guys <laughs> and we said that we wanted 3,000 subscribers by the end of the year and it's March I know wow thank you guys thank so you much honestly for all your support all your love all the DMs you guys send us yeah, like, all Instagram. the nice messages yeah. thank you so much for like watching and subscribing it really it means, means a lot. lot if you guys want to check out our last video we will link it in the description we did our first week back at university vlog and if you guys want to support us that bit further you can also watch the ads that will be throughout the video but even if you choose not to you being here is more than enough so thank you so much if you choose to our Instagram will also be linked in the description if you guys want to follow us there obviously because we have a lot of new subscribers jesse and i were thinking we could do a q a video so if you guys have any questions on uni life even just about oh, us if you guys want to comment them down below in the comments you can dm us on instagram and maybe we could do a possible q a video make sure you guys like comment and subscribe, subscribe. and without further ado let's go, let's go. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. guys it's gonna be cold hopefully it's not windy. this cold birmingham weather we oh, tried to pick the sunniest day but tomorrow and like for the rest of the week is gonna be raining so today was the best, best day, day. Okay, so we're ready to go. Okay, hi guys. So right now we're outside the Brook Pavilion, which has a Starbucks and it has Brook, which is a sports bar and kitchen. So this Starbucks is located right next to the Grange Road gate, so it's really close to university. So if you're on your way and you want to pick up a Starbucks, you can do that. So this is the Bournebrook Pavilion. And you can see Bournebrook and Metalworks behind us as well. So right now guys we're looking over the Bournebrook sports pitches uh, for a lot of sports to be played. These are tennis, football, hockey, netball and also American football. Hi guys, so right now we are standing outside UOB Sport and Fitness So because we have cheer training here, so you guys might have seen this is where we come to do our cheer training So in the UOB Sport and Fitness Centre, there are over 200 fitness and sports classes a week They also have obviously the university gym that you can have a membership for So it's right on campus, easily located And they also have a dojo, swimming pool, they have their own costa And just loads of great facilities like um, the indoor courts Which we spend a lot of time at for sports science um, so it's just really really great facilities um sadly we can't go in there today but if you guys have a chance to visit the uob sport and fitness make sure you do also guys opposite the sport and fitness center this is where you can get your covid test guys, now we're walking back across the sports pitches to the other side to show you the engineering building is the School of Engineering, so the engineering building. So if you do engineering, this is going to be your main building. Hi 
Hi guys, so we are at our home, which is the Sports <laughs> Exercise and Rehabilitation Sciences building. So we have actually never been inside the building for the whole of first year. Yeah, we, and the last yeah. time we were in the building was literally like open, open day. day. If uni is normal and there is no COVID, you still won't be in that building for the whole of first year. You'll be in other buildings. Yeah, we go to other buildings mainly for like our seminars and lectures. But yeah. this is our home, Sport and Exercise. So we're going to take you down there. Hi guys, we're at our next location. So right now we're sitting outside the Collaborative Teaching and Learning Building. Basically, in this building, this is where you find most of your labs, I think. So it has e-labs, dry labs, wet labs, and also loads of study spaces. So you can work in the Collaborative and Learning Building. It's a really nice building, nice and gold. You guys saw the footage. Um, so yeah, and then literally we're sitting right opposite it. I only knew this because some girls walked by and were like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. This is the this new engineering, newly, like, yeah, newly built engineering building. Yeah. So we'll show you guys what that looks like. So this is the engineering building right behind us so this is i guess you'll be in this new one yeah if you do engineering. it's really pretty though okay guys so sorry about the background noise but we are outside or oh, you have just seen the murray learning center so you guys have seen us go there a few yeah. times in previous vlogs so that is where we had our seminars for our, one of our modules becoming a researcher so we'd go there and sometimes we'd go there outside of seminars and yeah. work in there. It There's a lot of study spaces and stuff available just to do work and stuff. And it does have a cafe next door called Revive, which you've just seen. And that's like vegan sandwiches. And Not, stuff all like. vegan. Not all vegan. Not all vegan. <laughs> Some just good vegan, sandwiches. Just, we've never had it. We can't say it's good. <laughs> but it's just a cafe next door if you ever want to take a break and get a quick snack. Or you can walk further down to like the Costa. Mm. So guys, this is the computer science building and it's opposite the Murray Learning Centre. guys coming up we literally literally a two not even two minute walk 30 seconds is the university train, train station. station so guys this is the university train station so if you want to get home or get into town really quickly this is the place for you So guys, the building just across this road is the University Medical School. So if you study medicine, and biosciences, any of that, this is your main building. So guys, we are at the University Centre. So Jesse, do you want to talk about it? So basically, so outside the university centre, you have the Costa and also an oriental food bar called Walk Fresh. So you guys have seen us go to the Costa. So this is like the main university Costa, but there's so many dotted around. And then, yeah, that's you can see that behind Jessica. And then we'll show you in a minute. But on this side, we have the staff house. So this is where staff like, I don't know if they live there, but I think it's just where they sit, have coffee, coffee. chill, things like that. That's like their little area. Mm -hmm. And then when you go down this path here, that's when you'll enter the greenhouse but inside the university center they have living so living accommodation their little office is set up there um, they also have some study rooms called the Avon rooms and then they have a food hall in there and like a little cafe at, upstairs so that's what's inside the university center and I think some other things <laughs> we've never been in there we've never been in there so as you guys can see the walk fresh the Costa and this is the staff house so guys, as you can see, this is the food market. <laughs> Normally on open days and around like the summertime, spring, this is literally full of fruits and vegetables. <laughs> People selling their fruit. Obviously because of COVID, this isn't here anymore. Normally it's really loud and you know, boisterous. Hustle and bustle. Hustle and bustle, but 
This is where you can get your fresh fruit and vegetables. Okay guys, so obviously we're gonna head to our, our best friend, <laughs> old <laughs> Joe, after this, but we're just gonna show you guys the green heart. So this is the arts lecture building. So this is where we have the majority of our seminars. And then going across, you can see old Joe in the background and also the green heart. So this is where the majority of students like to hang out and have lunch, especially on Sundays. Oh, so guys, we didn't mention, so it's called the green heart because from a bird's eye view, view, it, it looks, looks like, like a, a heart. green heart. Yeah. So guys, right now we are outside the main library. The university has over six libraries, but this is the main one. For 1,800 study spaces for students, so you can definitely find a place in there. There's also a little cafe. Right now, because of COVID, you have to actually book to get a slot in the library. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, it's very, very modern, mm -hmm. as you can see. And yeah, so I hope to see you guys in the library doing your work. <laughs> Okay guys, so right now we're standing literally underneath Old Joe. They said that if you walk under Old Joe when the, the At bell, when, no, I don't know, when the bell chimes, you'll fail your degree. So <laughs> try not to walk under here when the bell Are chimes. Are you sure that's the right superstition, like I the right thing? I can't remember. <laughs> it's a myth, but if, we don't know if that's true. <laughs> So Old Joe, Europe's tallest freestanding clock tower. So it, and I say, I'm, it's big, <laughs> it's big. Oh, I have to bend my back to see it all. Old Joe is in the center of what is the Chancellor's Court. So this is what you've seen. And in the Chancellor's Court, you have a few buildings. So it's in a curved shape. So you have a Bramble Music Hall, you have, um, Bramble Music Hall is just over there. So this whole building is called the Aston Webb Building and the main building inside is called the Great Hall. So inside the Great Hall is where you will take your exams and it will also be where you graduate. So in 2023, you'll be seeing <laughs> us out here. Sorry, our caps. This is the Great Hall. So this is where you will graduate and we will graduate in two years time? Yeah. Three years time. <laughs> so right now guys we are outside at the guild which is the student union so the guild is run by students so it's where you can sign up for many societies it also has a bar which is called joe's bar and it also has a post office cafes a bank it also has loads of rehearsal spaces so we know that the birmingham university dark society also train here so yeah so it's a nice place on a night out if you want to come here with your friends we haven't experienced any of it, but hopefully next year we will. In the centre of it is yeah. this mermaid lady fountain. So as you can see, that's like the logo for the guild and for the university. Guys, that is the last stop on our tour. So we hope you enjoyed there it. There is. We hope you guys enjoyed our campus tour. We hope it was useful. You got a little insight into what the campus looks like. Please make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it. Check out our last video. Follow us on Instagram. Make sure you guys like, comment and subscribe. And we will see, see you, you next week. week. Bye. Bye.